Welcome to Bonifab Custom. Today, we're continuing on our project, the sword from the movie Mulan. Today, we're gonna to be working on the guard, and the guard is also gonna be made out of titanium. We're gonna get into forging that right now. So if I look at my screenshot that I took, I can see the comparison of the blade to the guard. So we're looking at making something that's about 3 8 to 5 16 in height and about 3 inches in diameter. So what I want to forge out basically is the rough diameter and kind of in a, it's gonna be like in a cup form. So we're gonna have a depth inside here, three inches across and about three eighths when finished. So whatever the height is right now, it doesn't matter. I don't have any round stock of titanium. I only have a block. So the block, that's going to be the hard part is taking that block and forging this shape out of it. So let's turn on the forge and let's get into forging this part here. The forge is all, all fired up and we're going to take this piece of titanium and we're going to make the guard for the Mulan sword. Now, I haven't made a guard before out of titanium, so um, we're gonna see if this is gonna work. I'm basically gonna forge this round, and then I'm gonna try and uh, kinda cup it so it looks like that guard from the movie.
So right after forging, that's what it looks like. Took a lot of work, a uh, couple hours just to do that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and clean up some of this on the grinder and then I'm gonna try and put it on my lathe so I can clean up the inside and we'll see how it comes out. The size is good. Just gonna have to see if those little cracks, if we can get them off with the grinding or the machining. So for that little bit of grinding I did on, this, on the grinder, I actually went through a whole 32 grit um, belt. It would take quite a few belts to get through this uh, material. It's extremely tough. If you were to grind this out of normal carbon steel, you would be able to grind the whole thing plus a knife out of one 32 grit sandpaper belt. That's how tough this stuff is. So to take off the majority or to start machining the inside of this, I'm gonna put it on my lathe, but because it's not completely round on the outside, I put some soft aluminum pieces, one eighth pieces in between the jaws and the titanium. And this will squeeze down and if there's any uh, slight um, imperfections or diameter differences, this will kind of compensate for that instead of just putting the hard steel uh, jaws onto the hard titanium. It could slip out and then bounce off the chucks and hit you. So let's put a, a boring bar inside and start machining the inside. So it didn't clean up too bad. One thing you gotta realize uh, when you're machining titanium like this, the small little cuts, they actually light on fire. And if you have a bunch of chips on the bottom, it can actually cause a huge fire because it doesn't go out. Um, but you can see here, it didn't clean up. We don't need that much material. So hopefully that's gonna be enough Oh, what I did was just basically machined it on the inside so I can hold it from the inside properly and then take a cut on the outside and then I can finish the inside. So now I have this inside the jaws on the outside and because I machined the inside properly now I can put it with the jaws pulling outside and I can machine the back square. So I'm gonna cut it off because it doesn't need to be this thick. It's gonna be about three eighths of an inch, something like that. So I'm gonna try and cut this off and then I can start finishing it. Okay, it broke off, looks good. really hot so I got these little imperfections uh, cracks inside here from the forging that didn't clean up now I I'm gonna take more material off here maybe another 16th of an inch or something 
but I want to make sure I clean up. The inside's pretty good. So now I'm going to TIG weld some titanium on the outside, hopefully. And then I should have enough material to clean up. Okay, so it looked like it worked. So I'm gonna have to put it back on the lathe and then clean it up again, see if I have to fill it in with some more uh, titanium uh, filler rod. Hopefully we can save this part. So that was an extreme amount of work to make that. Probably took me close to seven, eight hours to forge and then machine it and then i had to fix a lot of the little cracks in it or the pieces that didn't that kind of over forged in it and now we have a piece that we can use which is good i didn't waste all that time doing nothing now the hard part is going to be we need to kind of finish that size on there and we're going to do some engraving but before we can do that we're gonna finish or we're gonna start roughing out the sword, the actual blade, because the blade has to fit or the guard has to fit into the blade. So next week we'll be working on the blade finishing and, fin and fitting the guard. Thanks again everyone for watching Bonifab Custom as we made we forged this uh, guard out of titanium for the sword from the movie Mulan. Thanks again for all your support and don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you later on next week with more on this project.